pero esta no es la primera vez que Malkovich viene al Perú. Viajero impenitente conoció a nuestro país hace años, en el peor tiempo del terrorismo y la crisis económica. Now you're going to Peru. It's the second time you're going to Peru. You, you mm. told me you've been then in '86. 25 years ago. 25 yeah. years ago. How, how mm. you remember? Do you, do you remember Lima? I remember Lima pretty well because um, I was there with my producing partner, uh, movie producing partner, one of them, Russ Smith, and uh, we left Miami and went down there in '86 and. Went to Lima and Machu Picchu and Cusco and around a bit and Iquitos. Um, I remember it being a spectacular trip. Um, and obviously was very struck by the, the sort of state of the country then because of course that, that was at the sort of apex of of Sendero Luminoso. Yeah, it was a war song. Yeah, sure. And in fact, the night we got to Lima was the first night Sendero was ever able to black out the city, or at least a big part of the and city. And how you felt in that moment with the blackout? Well, you know, I was much younger then, and I think Generally, when you're young, and I didn't have the excuse of being very, very young, a part of you is so ignorant or immature that you find it cool or interesting. <laughs> you understand? Until you really start to grasp who are these people, what do they want, what is their their story, what is their history. Um, so I remembered it being, you know, obviously quite exotic and mm. quite exciting. Um, I didn't at all like Lima the way I like the rest of Peru at all, but because it, it's such a staggeringly beautiful country. And Lima at that time, not so much. It was a great city. Yeah, but, but Lima had other great things besides what you saw visually. And great people, and that was the same all over Peru where we went. We had a great trip. Yeah. La vinculación de Malkovich con el Perú no se limitó a ese viaje. Tanta fue su impresión aquella vez que unos años más tarde, una historia ocurrida en nuestro país daría origen a la primera película que dirigiría. I know your directorial debut was The Dancer of Stairs. And the movie was based on a Nicholas Shakespeare novel that was inspired by real facts who occurred in Peru. It was inspired by Abimael Guzmán and Maritza Garrido Leca. Well, because we were there during that period, you know, that made a huge impression on us. And uh, then years later, I was making a film in Wars in Łódź, in Poland. And I read uh, a series of book reviews in an English newspaper called The Daily Telegraph. And this one mentioned the, this book called The Dancer Upstairs, which was essentially about the capture of Abimael Guzman and, and a, a, a sort of romantic thriller in a way based on that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I thought, oh, that sounds like something I'd really like to read. And I read it and we got the rights to it. And then I, Nicholas and I worked on the screenplay a couple of years and eventually we we did it mm -hmm. now you're going to lima again what what are your expect your thoughts your expectations about going to lima you know i never have expectations i'll be delighted to see it again lima um i'll be delighted to be in peru again i'm sad that it'll be for such a short time um And I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, 
I know Nicholas has some friends there, meaning Nicholas Shakespeare, mm -hmm. that I'll probably hook up with at some point. And it'll be a great experience to be back, back in Peru and back in Lima.